Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Hammett and today we're working on the low poly anime girl. Do check out the links in the description for the playlist and we're on to part 3 at the moment. Also check the links in the description for my detailed course on character creation and check the playlist on my channel for other free courses. In today's session we'll be working on the head and hair. Ok so here's where we got to last time and we're going to make the head. I'll bring back the reference images, so we've got the head in the background and I'll go to front view and just line some of these verts up around the neck. So I'll grab this one and pull it in slightly and go to X-ray mode up the top here, Alt Z for short, and I can select all these verts here. So that's the back as well there. Back to front view with one on my numpad, E to extrude and pull those up. Now again I'm going for a low poly style so if you're going higher poly then you'd have cuts in here but I don't need them. Ok round to side view and let's line that up. So I'll G to grab, R to rotate and just pull these into position and I'll even them out just a touch. Now it's worth pointing out that I've got four edges going around. You could have another cut in here that goes down a bit further and I may well add that in a moment. But I'll take these for now, go to front view, E to extrude, one to around the mouth, E to extrude again, one around the nose, E to extrude again, one around the eyes and two going up to the top of the head like so. And then one final one right at the very top. Ok so if I go to side view that leaves us with this strange shape here, so I'll select these to the front here, G to grab and pull them across and just move these into position, so the mouth there, the nose here, the eyes and the top of the head. With the eyes I'll come out a bit further, so you just create a slight indentation and out towards the nose there and you can go flat down here. We'll cut a bit out for the nose so it will stick out that little bit further in a moment and the forehead maybe just around there, that will be great. So I'll even some of these up and let's do the same for the back, G to grab, move it out and move these back as well to around there. Ok so let's press Alt Z to come out of X-ray mode and then start having a look at our shape. So it's not awful but it's not quite right. I'll turn off the background reference images so it doesn't get in the way and I'll just start tidying up a bit. So this one down here, from this vert to this vert, we can press GG and edge slide it in and then G in the Y just back really slightly so there's a bit of curve. Ok, so it curves around slightly there. Uh, this one to this one, so I'm control clicking the last one and that will select the shortest route. GG to edge slide and then it's best to go to top view to sort of see how wide you want it and how to create a sort of circular shape going around. And that's looking fine. Let's go back to front view and bring back our reference into wireframe and just marry some of these verts up. Remove the reference and just check that that's all ok. We definitely do need a cut down the back here, so K for the knife tool, cut down to about here and I'll just come into the neck there. Grab the verts from here up to the top, go to top view and round it out. And just check how that's looking. I'll just bring this one out slightly so there's a bit more curvature to the neck. and it looks like I didn't quite cut in where the vert was there, so there's no point in that extra one. Make sure you've got the auto merge on, GG to edge slide and bring them both together. This one needs to come out though doesn't it? And that's not looking too bad. Ok so we can fill in the top. If I just grab the edges around the top with Alt Z and press F to fill and then to create quads we can do it this way or we can do it this way it doesn't make too much difference and we may change it around a little bit later on. So I'll press the knife tool, K to cut and do one in here. That looks a bit strange at the moment, so let's start adjusting our shape slightly. GG to edge slide, G then Z, move that up and just create some slight curvature. I might eventually need another cut in here, but we'll see how that goes. And just have a look around and think how you want to finish your shape. I think for now I'm just going to cut across there and I'm going to leave that as an end gone just for now because I might decide to change it around here in a moment. Now it's a little bit lumpy isn't it at the top, so if I grab this vertex and press vertex, smooth vertices, it smooths it out and takes the average of the ones around it and that's quite handy. Ok so if I go to front view now and just check that I'm roughly lining up with the reference and that's not too bad, I might just make the most of these ones. And I use edge slide quite a lot, GG, and it's all looking ok. It will need a tiny bit of smartening up in places. I might grab this one and use the 
vertex smooth again, just to round it out. So when you're doing low poly work, we're not going to use painted textures. We're just going to use very basic colors to give it that low poly look. You can follow this workflow for painted objects as well. It might just be slightly different and you might have slightly better topology. But in order to color the areas in like the mouth and the eyes, we'll actually create topology that we can therefore fill with a color. So I'll start doing that now. So I'll press one on my keyboard to go to front view, X-ray mode, and we're going to cut out the area for the eye. So K for knife. And it is always best to start on an edge or a vert, but it doesn't matter too much because we can tidy it up afterwards. We'll just get the shape around the top here of the eye to around there, come back down to the bottom here. We'll move this vert upwards slightly in a moment. So we've got a rough eye shape there going round and press enter. So that's what we're looking for, something nice and simple like this. And again, we'll tidy it up in a moment. Back to front view, we'll do a similar thing for the nose. I'll just bring these down. So G to grab and bring those down so they're ready for the nose. And then actually I'll undo that because I'm selecting the back one as well. I'll just select the front one, sorry. Uh, one on my keyboard to go back to front view, G to grab and move that down. And then the knife tool for a very simple low poly nose here. That way, when we pull the front vert out, I'll do that now, G then Y, just pull it out really slightly. I'll go to side view so you can see what's happening there. So it's very slightly pulled out and I might just line it up with the side there and maybe this one up a little bit. So there's not much of a nose and then we'll fill this face with a slightly dark color and then it will look like a nose. So back to front view and thinking about the mouth. Let's use this vert, so bring it down for the mouth. Let's just check we have got the front one, yep. Back to front view. K for knife, and I'll just do something really simple like this for now. Okay, so back to solid mode and let's see what that looks like. Very, very simple, but it will start to work when we start adding a bit more color. Okay, thinking about the hair, so let's go to front view again and wireframe again, or X-ray mode, sorry. And I'll just cut out the hair. So K for the knife tool, come into the middle here and just follow the hairline around to the side there and press enter, and then I'll go around to side view and it doesn't matter if it follows too much but K for knife tool just where you left off I'll follow it around maybe I'll use that vertices there come up again to here and again tidy these up later can't we and down to there press enter and then out of x-ray mode and then have a look how we're doing I might bring this one around a little bit more and then maybe down to there and let's just look how we can tidy some of these up. So this one, for example, I can press GG and edge slide it into there and GG and edge slide it into there. And that's fine. I might tidy this one up a little bit later on. This one doesn't look quite right. So I'll press K for knife tool and cut in here and press enter. And we're roughly getting there for the hair. So I'll go to face mode and just select these faces now that's a really awkward end gone, so I might just cut in here with K and make sure it's not that bad. Now I'll keep selecting these faces. This one's really awkward as well, so K for knife tool and cut in from here. So it's all very simplistic and just going around selecting these faces. And now I'll press C for circle select. So that gives me a nice circle that I can just paint with, with left click. If you want to get rid of any, middle click, and right click is to come out of circle select. So C to circle select, left click, and I just press the middle mouse button to move around my object, but that obviously deselected the faces. Make sure you don't do that. Come out of circle select, move around, C to circle select again, and then start selecting. Let's just make sure we got them all, that last one there. And there's the hair. E to extrude, and then right click. So the extrusion is there, but it's in the same place. And then Alt S to scale by the normals. So it just pushes it outwards. And that's a nice simple way to do low poly hair. It's a bit of a mess in here. We can tidy that up. So I'll go to vertex mode and GG and slide that across there, I think. And this one, I suppose actually we can give it a bit of curve. It's up to you really. Your hair might be slightly different to mine. It doesn't make too much difference. And now I'm just tidying up the shape, making sure it looks all right. Got a few triangles and things around the place but I think it's working. GG for this one. Yeah, that looks all right. Okay, so our character's slowly taking shape. 
I suppose I'll finish the hair off and do the bun at the top. So back into edit mode. I'll need a cut in here in fact, won't I? So K for knife tool and I'll do a cut there in triangle. And let's select some faces which we think are gonna be helpful. Probably these two. Let's go around to front view and X-ray mode to see how they're fitting. Oh, but what I wasn't looking at was side view. Let's have a look. That's way too far forward, isn't it? It needs to be back here to make any sense. So let's go back out of X-ray mode and choose a better one. Probably this one here. I might use the knife tool and cut down here, then press E to continue my knife cut around there. And now select these two faces and I think that's gonna be better. Let's go to side view now with three. That's better. E to extrude and scale. E to extrude and scale in and just grab that. Okay, just a little bit of working on the shape perhaps. So I'll time-lapse this bit. Okay, it's such bad topology up here that I'm going to just cut in here as well. Now I can select these edges to help it out a little bit more. Okay, so that's the character's head with some basic features. We will be finishing those off once we finish the hands and feet, and we'll be adapting them slightly for when we add the clothes and the color. So let me know if you've got any questions, do comment below. Hope you're enjoying the course, and I'll see you next time.